नमस्ते वेलकम टू फूड हैश टैग लाइफ आप में से बहुत लोगों ने पूछा था हाउ टू ऑर्गेनाइज अ स्मॉल स्पेस सो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू ऑर्गेनाइज अ स्मॉल स्पेस एंड यू कैन मैक्सिमाइज द स्पेस As per your request, I did this video. I really hope you will find it helpful. And if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe. And very important, click that bell icon just right beside the subscribe button. So whenever I upload any video, you will get notified. So let's get started. For this organizing video, I'm going to use these two cabinets, two upper shelves, and two lower shelves. Basically I use them to keep food storage containers and less used utensils rice cookers etc for the bottom shelf I have cleared out everything to start organizing them You can see these two upper shelves are not very deep but as they are very easy to access so I have decided to keep snacks and breakfast items in there It will be easy for your family members to access them on daily basis. For these two lower shelves, you can see they are pretty deep. I have decided to keep rice, pasta, atta, extra groceries in there. Those of you who have seen my pantry organization video, you will see I am able to organize almost everything except very few items in those small cabinets. A proper planning helps you to organize your space even if you have small space problem. Let's see how I have organized the small cabinets to maximize the space. Tip number 1, always use basket to contain small and alike items together. So here I keep extra snacks items. Now tip number 2, do not overstock items for small space. स्पेस कम है तो उतना ही स्टॉक कीजिए जितना आपके पास अवेलेबल स्पेस है टिप नंबर थ्री यू स्टैकेबल कंटेनर्स टू स्टोर फूड आइटम्स दिस वे यू विल बी एबल टू मैक्सिमाइज योर स्पेस डेफिनेटली टिप नंबर फोर डो नॉट ओवर स्टफ योर कैबिनेट टू रिच आइटम्स विच आर बैक ऑन द शेल्फ ऑलवेज लुक फॉर इजी एक्सेस टिप नंबर फाइव Use square or rectangular food containers to keep your food items. So in this first upper shelf, I have kept breakfast items and extra snacks basket. Now moving on to the second upper shelf, here I keep my daughter's snacks. For those who ask me what I keep in my daughter's snacks basket, you can see here I keep basically dry fruits as healthy snacks like walnut, raisins, cashew. dates roasted almonds etc it's very easy for me to take out the basket and portion her snacks and then again keep it back right beside that in this container i store things like grab and go energy bar dry fruit biscuit etc and down here i used to keep homemade snacks like makhana matri namak para etc Here I store our snacks. Uh, you can see I have used square and rectangular containers to maximize the space. In this basket, I have kept all the open snacks. Now maximize the space under the shelf. You can use this type of a under shelf basket, which are easily available online, or you can find it. in local store also i will try to find the link and put it in the description box below if you wish you can check them there moving on to the lower shelf let me show how i have arranged this two lower shelves my first focus was to maximize the space as we are dealing with a very small space we need to use every bit of it Now center of the shelf was in a very bad condition so I put washi tape to make it look little nicer Tip number 6 use baskets which can maximize your shelf space on the upper shelf I have used this two baskets which has a handle so that I can pull them out and push them back very easily In this first basket I have kept dal beans etc like all protein category tip number 7 don't use containers for all food items rather you can use ziploc bags or you can use their own packets for the storage 
This way you will be able to solve small space problem. Tip number 8. Reuse your food containers to save you little money. In this container you can see I have kept rice, pasta, noodles etc. Now let me show you what I have kept in the back of the shelf. In this long basket I kept few items which I don't use frequently. Normally I store basin in the fridge you know. Uh, this one is leftover from a recipe which I don't want to mix with the fresh one. Tip number 9. Use clear container to store food items or if you are using steel container do not forget to label them. Now here comes the tip number 10. Label your shelf to stay organized. Here you can see I put label on the cabinet door what I have kept on the back of the shelf so that everything will be visible for me to keep track on them. Now moving on to the lower shelf as you can see it has labeled as extra grocery so here I keep all the extra grocery items. Remember the tip number 2 if you do not have space do not overstock your stuff. Then back of the shelf I have kept baking items together everything contained in a basket for easy access. Take the whole basket out use it then again put it back in its place. Remember tip number 1 always use basket to contain small or like items together. In front of the shelf I have kept wheat flour as we use it every day. As an overview you can see here I am able to maximize the space made it functional and organized. I hope this video will help you to get some ideas and motivate you to organize your small space. Video, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your loved ones don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos by clicking right here i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye